Hello, welcome to Corporate Taxation. My name is Ginger Wagner, and I get the privilege to be your professor for this course. I love tax. And just to demonstrate just how much I love tax, I need to tell you a story about my trip to DC a few years back. So my family decided to go to, to Washington, DC to look around and see all the historical sites. I informed my family that I really, really, really had to go to the IRS headquarter building. And so one day we made it into our plans where I was able to go to the IRS building. And when I got to the building, I was just so excited. Uh, I went to the building and I went inside and I'm just looking around. It's this big fortress looking thing. And I'm looking around and I'm just, oh, I'm in awe. I'm just so excited to be in the IRS headquarter building. And this guard comes out and asks me, why are you here? I said, well, I'm here for the IRS. I just wanted to see what it looked like. And so the security guard goes, um, do you have an appointment? And I said, um, no, I'm a professor at Syracuse University and I teach tax to my students and I really love tax. And so I'm looking for something that I can bring back to them that might get them excited about tax too. And he looks at me and he's like, we have some tax forms over there. And I said, tax forms, I can get those online. Don't you have any tchotchkes or anything that I can bring home to my students? We're talking about getting the next generation of kids really excited about tax. And he looks at me and he goes, you're going to have to leave, ma'am. And I was shocked. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, you're going to have to leave. So the only thing I got out of my trip to the IRS building was a picture of me sitting in front of the building that says, Internal Revenue Service. And so that's pretty much the only thing I got from my trip to the IRS building in DC. So that just gives you a little indication on just how much I love tax. So anyway, let's give you a little background information about myself. I have four degrees from Syracuse University. After my undergraduate degrees, I worked in real estate for seven years and then decided to go back to school to get my master's. When I was working towards my MBA, I took my first accounting class and I was hooked. So I decided to get my master's in accounting as well. After I graduated, I went to work for a local Syracuse accounting firm in their tax department. I loved it. Because of my background, I was given a lot of special projects. So I wasn't just doing tax returns. I did a lot of tax research, business valuations, litigation support. It was so much fun. Despite how much I loved the work I was doing, I left public accounting because I was looking for a way to make more of a difference in the world. I wanted to help people make a better life for themselves, and I wanted to help guide young people into the business world. So I contacted one of my old professors and got into teaching at SU. I've been teaching at SU now since 2007, and I love it even more than I loved working at my old firm. Most of my time at SU is spent with 18 to 21 year old kids. I can't tell you, there is no better feeling than watching an 18 year old freshman come into class for the first time, and then four years later, watching them walk across the stage and grab in their diploma. To know that I helped a student grow into what they will become is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. Enough about me. Let's talk about what's gonna happen in this course. This course is 10 weeks of pure fun, cause it's tax. We are going to learn about the basic foundation of tax and some of the more common things that tax accountants see in their workday. If you choose a career in tax, the concepts that we learn in this class are going to be the base of your knowledge. Things like realized and recognized gains and losses, adjusted basis, depreciation, and tax research are used every day in the tax world. Tax is hard. No doubt about it. The tax code is written by lawyers. It is not as black and white as you might think. It sometimes takes several times reading it before you understand it. If you don't understand it on the first few times, don't get discouraged. It's happened to everybody. I remember several times when the partners of the firm I used to work at would have heated discussions as to what a new tax law meant and the implication. And these guys had 10, 20, 30 plus years of tax experience each. Even judges who are forced to make tax decisions in their court cases have, who have practiced law for years sometimes disagree as to what the law means. Tax is like a puzzle. Sometimes it is, e it is easy, like filling out the outside edge, and sometimes it is more complicated, like filling in the middle. 
Either way, it is fun to work on, and when you finish, it is very satisfying to sit back and look at the picture that you have created. I can't wait to get all of you excited for tax. Yay, tax!